guys welcome back to my channel um, so today I'm taking you on my journey uh, to getting Botox and fillers I know it's kind of crazy um, so my sister and I got the opportunity uh, to get a little work done from a local st. Louis plastic surgeon her name his name is dr. Nyack uh, if you're from st. Louis you've probably seen his billboards everywhere um, knows by Nyack uh, I think he's really famous for his rhinoplasty um, but he does a whole bunch of other stuff too but basically so we went to his event about like two months ago or so and they gave us free Botox and fillers which is absolutely crazy and I have never had either or so I kind of figured if I'm getting it now this is the perfect opportunity to do so because just in case I don't like it or don't want to do it in the future I don't have to worry about wasting my own money um, I just wanted to take you guys through, uh, I guess, some of my concerns, uh, what I'm freaked out about, what Matt's worried about, or the process of how this is all going to go, and hopefully get some questions answered for you guys and uh, kind of make it easier for if you're trying to decide if this is what you want to do in the future as well. Okay, so some of my concerns, first of all, first and foremost, right now, currently, my biggest concern is going back to work on Monday. Uh, so it's currently Thursday. Uh, my sister and I are doing this tomorrow on Friday. Um, but I know, I know for a fact they get swollen. Your lips. Okay, so did I not say what I'm getting done? So I'm going to do Botox for sure. Um, I, I, I think it's just going to be in my forehead. I, uh, I definitely have wrinkles here and when the lighting kind of sucks, but even when I'm like relaxed, my make I'm not wearing any makeup right now. I'm wearing mascara, but not any like face makeup. Um, my makeup tends to want to sit in these cracks. So, I mean, you can you can see that as I get older, my wrinkles get a little bit more prominent. Uh, so yeah, I definitely want some up here, and then I'm gonna get some lip fillers because I want to make my upper lip a little bigger and a little more even because I feel like my lips are uneven. Um, so I'm worried about going to work the next day. The Botox I'm not worried about, uh, the lips, because I do know there's bruising, I do know there's swelling, and of course, I don't want to be judged. It's like I'm so worried about being judged at work. Like when it comes to like social media and YouTube and Instagram and stuff, fucking judge away. Like that doesn't bother me. But for some reason when it comes to like my corporate world and like my job job, I'm always worried about being judged, which is so lame, but it is what it is. But I'm also not going to let that stop me from doing what I want to do. I understand the, you know, the worry and like the uncomfortableness of feeling and thinking about if other people are like talking shit or thinking negative thoughts about you, but don't let it keep you from doing something. So yeah, that's my first worry. My first worry is about looking crazy as fuck when I go back to work. Uh, my second worry is I'm just afraid that my lips are going to look too much. Um, I pride myself on like my natural look. I do like a natural look. Um, don't get me wrong, love doing makeup, love getting all like glammed up and dolled up and all of that. But I do pride myself on keeping, you know, more of a, a natural feel, a natural style and whatnot. So I just don't want my lips to look too out of control, too crazy. Um, but I think that's another reason why I wanted to vlog this and do this is because I wanted to show that it is possible to get that natural look and not look like fucking Kylie Kardashian. Kylie Jenner? The hell is wrong with me? But yeah, I just wanted to show that it is possible to get that natural look and you can get that little extra oomph without looking completely noticeable or having people know if you don't want them to know. My third worry is Matt. So Matt doesn't he's he's pretty fine with the whole Botox thing just because I mean it's just he, you're not gonna be able to tell at all unless you're really me you're probably not gonna be able to tell my, my skin's just gonna be smoother he's okay with the Botox but he's very worried about me looking crazy with my lips again he's all about natural 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 I mean when I started to wear more makeup and I started to get better at my makeup he was already like stop wearing so much makeup like he just wants, if I could be barefaced and nothing every day, he would be fine with that. But so my worry is that I'm going to get him done and he's going to hate it. And like, obviously that's my fiance. Like I want him to think I'm hot. Obvi. But at the same time, I hope this gives, 
I hope this gives us a chance and him a chance to realize that like it's not what he thinks it is. So that's kind of what I'm hoping and praying for. But he's so fucking stubborn. He's probably, even if he does like it, he's probably not going to tell me regardless because he's not going to want me to do it again. Whatever. I don't know. But I'm going to do what I want to do. Sorry, babe. I love you. And then my last and final worry, I think, is the pain. I'm not the best with pain. It's not the Botox I'm worried about. Again, it's the lips. Like, the, the lips thing is really fucking me up, you guys. Like, I'm getting real nervous. I'm going to take you guys with me through it all. Wish me luck. Uh, tomorrow's the big day. And, yeah, see you there. Happy Friday, you guys. The day is finally here. Uh, I'm on my way there right now. I'm kind of freaking out a tad bit. A wee bit. A wee bit. Ugh. There's just so many things going on in my head right now, but I'm in good hands. <gasps> I just, oh God, all types of fucking shit. Ah! numbing please okay we're gonna numb your forehead for your botox i'm just like where does the needle go like into my brain <laughs> right under the skin okay so put your lips together for me this is for you when you feel like you're gonna drool okay and you are good so you can close your lips that's oh fine. Uh, update the the numbing is terrible my sister thought i was being dramatic until she got it and she was like this is fucking gross but in my sick mind, I feel like the grosser it is, the more it works. So I feel good. Can't feel my tongue either. Um, Gina tells me that you're interested in, you've never had Botox or fillers no. before? No. Okay. So uh, I understand you're interested in considering, you tell me in your own words. Um, okay, so I obviously, well, I'm doing it more, I don't even know really what I'm doing, but I heard it's preventative, so I'm doing it more for that. Also, I do have lines in my, oh shit. I touched my forehead. That's okay. <laughs> um, I have lines in my forehead, so I was trying to clear some of that up. For fillers, I feel like I'm drooling. For fillers, I was going to do some of my lips, um, but I, I want it to look as natural as possible. Sure. So um, Botox-wise, it works by relaxing muscles. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of people are kind of focused on the forehead lines because as the brow starts to fall a little bit, mm -hmm. you instinctively use muscle action to hold the brow yeah. up out of the way and that creates those forehead lines, okay? Um, if we only treat the forehead, the lines will get better, but since we're relaxing the only muscle that holds your brows up, the brow falls. Oh, okay. Okay, so whenever we treat the forehead, we pretty much have to also treat some of the other muscles oh, that's, yeah. that are holding the brow down, Okay. so that we have a net effect of being able to treat the forehead lines but not dropping the brow. The other thing in the forehead is I would much rather you have some forehead lines remaining uh -huh. and still be able to, like you went, uh-huh, you picked your brows up. Yeah. And still be able to express and still be able to <laughs> yeah. connect with people. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So the only way to eliminate all your forehead lines would be to also eliminate your ability to move your brows up. Okay. So on the forehead, it's a good goal to get rid of most of them while preserving a nice brow height. I like that, okay. And preserving the ability to be a normal human being. And be interactive. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be our goal with the forehead is okay. soften, get rid of most of them. Um, I will treat your frown and your crow's foot areas largely as a way to keep your brow from falling. Okay. Does that make sense? Even yep. though those are on your radar, yep. they will also keep you from getting crow's feet and frown lines. Prevention. Because again, okay. Botox releases muscles or relaxes muscles. And the reason we get lines here is you fold it over and over again. And just like your palm, it creates lines where the where the folding happens. Mm -hmm. If we can keep these nice and calm and relaxed and you don't scrunch them up every time you make a facial expression, you don't get lines. Okay. Botox takes about two weeks to reach its peak effect. And so I'll see you in about two weeks and make sure that the balance that we've struck is a good one. Okay. And if there's any fine tuning to do, we'll do that. Cool. Lip wise, there are a bunch of different products that we can use on lips. Okay. And then each product we could use 
little bits or large bits. Okay. okay. Somebody's kind of a middle of the road product, one that lasts, lasts usually a year, year and a half. Okay. Um, What's that I'll one start, called? That one's Juvederm Velour. Okay. Um, it's nice. It's a soft um, product. I really like it. Actually. Okay. Um, it's become my favorite filler over the last several months. Okay. Um, nice and soft. It is reversible if you don't like it. It's not always nice Perfect. to know that. Um, but I think you'll like it. And I'll start with the syringe of it. Um, you will go through a series of events after this. Okay. Immediately after, you're going to look and you go, oh my God, I told you to be conservative. Okay. <laughs> because just between the numbing medicine and poking you with the needle just to put in the filler, yeah, you will swell. Okay. So if I went through the motions, numbed you and put just the needle sticks and didn't give you any filler, when you looked in the mirror, you'd go, oh my God, it's too much. Even yeah. though there's none. Yeah. Just from that series of events. Okay. Okay. Um, so initially they'll go, oh my gosh, that's more than I expected. Mm -hmm. It won't be. Okay. okay. The next few days, you'll probably have some swelling. And some people swell very little. Okay. Some people swell more dramatically. And so the next few days, depending on if you're a good sweller or a really oh, good God, sweller, you might feel like it's way too much. Um, or you might love it. And so if it okay. swells subtly and you kind of like that, well then you'll know, okay, next time I might add a little bit more. Okay. Okay. But what I'm saying is what you see immediately after in the first day or two after is, is not going to be, okay. Yeah, you'll feel like it might be too full, especially on someone like you. I have different patients. Yeah. I understand when you're talking to Gina, you're like, I like a full of lip. Mm -hmm. and, and you're confident about liking it. Mm -hmm. And as you were telling me kind of what you're, you're like, I kind of always wanted to try it, but I'm not really sure, you know, yeah, so yeah. the same amount of swelling on two different people mm -hmm. will be perceived two totally different ways. What and about by Monday? You think I'll be looking pretty normal by Monday? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just thinking good. about for work. Your very first time is a, is a learning experience. Okay. We're going to, we're going to learn together. Cool. So what I would do is, um, I would do 48 of Botox and I'll do one blur. Please. I got asked questions about how long it lasts, and you said like a year to a year and a half. About a year, but year and a half for lips. So for this velour Jupiterm. So it depends on what you define. How long does it last? Gotcha. Okay. So how long until the average person thinks I think I should probably add some more? Yeah. Depends. Probably about a year. The reason it's hard to answer directly is if we do what we're doing with you, treat conservatively, err on the side of a little too little. Right person starts getting comfortable with it they might want more earlier mm -hmm. because we've been very conservative we've erred sure. on the side of under treating it and they're starting to kind of come around to oh, it kind of looks really good i think i'd like to see it at least this full uh -huh. might be on the earlier side okay someone we're treating like completely you know and they're we're really filling them really well all at once they might see 18 months okay but if you did that to a first timer they'd have a heart attack for the first for time. sure <laughs> yeah how much is like pricing for the for the one that you're doing for me? So like how you, much would that be? Per syringe is seven hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. A good starting point is one syringe. Okay. Yeah, seven hundred dollars is a good starting point for what is okay. one syringe. Is that typical yeah. like industry wide? It's around It's around seven. that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And it depends on there's some there's some variables in there. So like with our nurse injectors who are fantastic, they're a little bit less. They're about oh six hundred dollars okay. a little bit less. Um, but we have a whole group of them and they have more time available. So I gotcha. it's a little easier to Oh, that to makes into. sense. Also, when we just normally when we do multiple syringes at once, we actually give people a deal. So when we're doing two or three areas of the face, if we hit three syringes, we take 300 off. Oh, okay. If we hit four syringes, we take 600 off. So, oh, wow. So how long for Botox? Uh, so Botox, Botox um, similarly, areas that we treat completely, like the forehead or the crow's foot, it takes them longer to wake all the way back up. So three, four months. Okay. In this area, in people that have had it many times, the frown, they get six months out of it. Okay. Okay. In areas that were intentionally being conservative, like the forehead, where I yeah. can't completely relax it, otherwise you'll lose your expression. I'm treating it conservatively, so by you know two, three months, it's completely awake. Okay. Botox, that's no big deal. Botox is just a little tiny series of little tiny pinches. Nothing horrible at all. Oh no, that's not bad at all. And this is your first Botox experience, is yes, that right? Yes, this is very first one. Yeah, so it's no big deal. Uh-uh. Cross the forehead. Okay. And this will be enough to soften those lines, but leave you expression. And give you a pretty brow position still. See, it doesn't hurt, does it? Mm-mm. This is the one I'm worried about. This one? Your lips are numb, you're gonna be good. Oh, the oh lips. okay. Oh, you'll be yeah. Fine. I start with the bottom lip and I'll move on to the top. So 
So in, in natural lips, the bottom lip is always a little fuller than the top. Mm -hmm. And so you can make a lip unnatural by overfilling it. Mm -hmm. You can also make a lip unnatural by getting the proportions wrong. So mm -hmm. we're going to stay conservative and we're also going to keep you in natural proportions, which is lower lip slightly fuller than the top lip. Mm -hmm. okay. Close your teeth together, you can swallow them. Good. Take your chin up a little bit. So one to ten pain scale, what would you say? Oh, I like it's like a, a two or a three. Good. Not as bad as your mm -mm. would be. Mm -mm. Wonderful. Wow, it's really cool watching. Isn't it fun? Yeah. Melina, you have lips. <laughs> You're starting to. <laughs> Never they're seen they're pretty and tasteful too, they're not crazy. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I know. Take a look. No, but I was accidentally calling my boyfriend. Oh, oh See? Wow. How good do they look? Yeah, I can so, tell. So, conservative. This, mm -hmm. is, this is nothing ridiculous. Uh-huh. Right place. Sorry. So, it's normal also at this point to be, oh my god, they're a little puffy, aren't they? Yeah. They're a little puffy. That's yeah. normal. Like I said, that's that whole series I talked to you about, like you're going to go through the stages. Totally Do you normal. feel like this, like, it, I know that's my own thing. Do we feel mm -hmm. like this one's a little lower than this one? It, you know what I can treat is fullness across the board, oh, not but I can't move them, I can't, I can't move them. <laughs> So we'll let this settle and kind of see what you have. But you're right, so if like one lip starts high, does that. I can't make the other lip go high. I can add fullness or, or less fullness. That makes so sense. That's how my mom's lips are. You know, Elvis had like the biggest case of that ever. Really? Yeah, yeah. so like Elvis. Oh my God, that's why he did that thing. Uh-huh. His mouth, that's yeah. funny. Okay, make like a duck and hold that squeeze. I want you to hold that little duck bell. Yeah. Hold a squeeze. You can release the taut, but by holding a squeeze on those lips for the next three or four minutes, all those little needle sticks that are trying to ooze a little blood under the surface, mm. they're being held shut, mm -hmm. sealing up, so you'll have less oozing blood inside the lip and then ooze blood outside the blood vessels into the tissues. That's what bruising is. Mm. So holding this squeeze for the next three or four minutes is actually more important. You'll ice in everything else later. But this three or four minutes is where you really determine bad bruising or not mm -hmm. bad bruising by holding that squeeze. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this, I wanted to do this so I could, you guys could get a good uh, view of like right after it's done. Um, these are fresh as fuck, obviously. I mean, this is right after. I'm still super numb, so I'm talking weird. It's kind of nuts, knock on wood, but I haven't had any like uh, bruising, not swelling, obviously. Um, yeah, I haven't had too much bruising. I mean, I feel like there's something coming up in here, but, uh, I mean, I don't feel like I couldn't not go in public right now. Like, I'm not sure that I, I feel like I look that nuts. Um, but tomorrow's gonna be the true tester because, uh, that's really when they start acting crazy. Yeah, I'd say all in all, everything, f f I can't, I still can't feel, I can't feel my lips, but everything so far looks pretty good I'm still a little freaked out but <laughs> I can't really uh, smile or anything either and literally there's a line of cars in front of me and they all are wondering what the fuck I'm doing but yeah I'll keep you guys posted um, what I look like in a few hours and then what I look like tomorrow okay so it's uh, 1045 and I wanted you all to have a very real look at what the fuck is going on with my face right now um, I am trying very hard. <laughs> when I say very, I mean very hard. Not to freak the fuck out because I look like a monster. Like, oh my god. Like, I mean, he said this was gonna happen, but like, I didn't mentally prepare myself, and so I want you all to prepare yourselves. Do not, I repeat, do not schedule any night activities when you get your lips done because you will look like a psychopath. One, one plus, still haven't bruised, right? Yeah, no, still haven't bruised. One side is swelling more than the other side. Um, do they hurt? Yeah, they hurt, they hurt a little bit, but it's not like too, too bad. Um, I'm LOLing at the fact that I literally looked at myself in the car afterwards and I was like, you know, this isn't so bad. This is like really like, you know, okay. And then fast forward five hours later and I'm losing my mind. I had a, I'm, had a couple panic attacks in bed. Sheer panic. I'm freaking the fuck out. Uh, so <sighs> we'll check in the morning. Um, chances are they could be even worse. So...
<laughs> Good morning, you guys. Uh, it's officially day one after I got the fillers. Um, as you can tell, we're here. Let me turn into this on. We are very swollen still. Um, still not too much bruising. There's a there's a little bit, um, but not a ton. But uh, like still super swollen. Uh, I was also telling myself this this morning as I was like, wow, this is crazy. Well, one, they tell you that the next day is going to be crazy. So this is normal, hopefully. <laughs> uh, two, I'm a big sweller. Uh, when I when anything happens to me, um, I swell a lot. I mean, I get a fucking mosquito bite and I swell. So I have to go to the grocery store because I am making a quiche this morning. So I have to go in public like this. Uh, it's about I don't know, like 10, it's like 10 o'clock. Matt's still sleeping. Um, I couldn't anymore, and so I want to get my my pie crust. I went grocery shopping yesterday, forgot the fucking pie crust, and now I have to go looking like a monster. So this is intense. I do not want to be in public like this. I'll tell you that right now. We'll see how much the swelling goes down tonight. If it's worth documenting, then I'll let, then I'll show you guys. Otherwise, I'll check in tomorrow. I actually have plans tomorrow. Um, I have to be in public tomorrow, so this should be quite interesting. Okay, it is day two after I got the fillers. Um, I'm looking a lot more normal. Um, this side seems to still be more swollen than this side. If you can see, I did get some bruising under here and then some over here as well. But I can actually be in public now and I don't look like such a psychopath. Um, I just want this side to like come down like this side just because I feel like I'm a little off center right now. Um, but otherwise, it, it, I think they're I think they're doing okay. I think they're coming in just fine. I'm um, not gonna lie, yesterday I was a wee bit freaking out. I was a little terrified um, that I made the wrong decision here, so. So far, so good as of today, so we'll see. Um, okay, well, welcome back to Bathroom Chronicles. <laughs> I feel like this whole uh, video has been in my friggin' bathroom, but you know, it is what it is. We're here for the lips, and we're here for the forehead, so it's fine. Um, anyways, so I wanted to give you guys an actual update on, I mean, it's well over two weeks. Um, after two weeks is when they're supposed to completely set. Uh, everything's supposed to look normal, which it does. Um, I absolutely love my lips. I absolutely love uh, what's happening with my forehead. Um, I will say it definitely took a solid two weeks for both of them to really set right. I mean, even the Botox, I feel like I was still showing everything all the way up until like a few days out. So, and then all of a sudden one day it just all hardened and it was like, whoa. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, about my lips. They're very subtle, as you can see, which I'm very happy about. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, I could probably even go up a little bit more next time, but I'm still very happy with it. Matt wanted it very natural as well. The biggest difference here, I'm gonna keep it close. The biggest difference here that I've noticed is that when I smile, my, my top lip stays. So before, when I smiled, it, I'm trying to curl it under, but like it, it curls under because uh, there's not a whole lot there. Not a whole lot to work with. Uh, so, but this time now when I smile, it pretty much stays. The bottom lip is just a lot more fuller. So yeah, very, very happy about that. All in all, this is them without any lipstick on. I just wanted to show you without, with, you know, little makeup. I just have mascara on and then just some like uh, Aquaphor chapstick just so you guys could get a real actual picture of my lips. Um, another thing to mention, um, my lips are naturally uneven. I mean, you could tell even at the beginning. This side droops a little more than this side. Um, that's how it's always been. That's how my mom's lips are. That's just what it is. So I kind of went into this thinking, you know, maybe he could make one like the other and even them out. But he pretty much told me, Listen, I can plump your lips, I can make them bigger, but I can't change the actual shape of them, which makes sense. So I do think that this has helped a little bit though. Like I do think this has helped kind of make them match a little bit more because it's not so intense as before, but I mean, regardless, I still love them. And I highly, highly, highly suggest checking out Dr. Nyack and his team. Um, if you're looking to get Botox or fillers for your first time, 
or if you're just looking for a refill or a re-up or whatever, whatever you want to call it, uh, check them out. I will link his site down here and then I will also link his Instagram right here. And yeah, you won't be disappointed if you go to them, I promise. Hey you guys, I just wanted to do a check-in. Um, and so this is what they're looking like. Um, I love them. I think they look great. Um, this lighting, holy shit, it's making my lipstick or my um, lip liner look a little bit off. <gasps> all in all, I think they look amazing. I'm super happy with them. Definitely fuller, but like subtle. They're not like too crazy. Would I do it again? Absolutely. But the only but with that is it's expensive. Like I don't, I'm not gonna just drop $700 to fill my lips again anytime soon. If I had a discount, fuck yeah. If I got them for free again, fuck yeah. But uh, I, I just, I'm not that insecure with my lips where I feel like I'm gonna have to keep this up continuously. Um, if I had the, the dollars, I definitely would. But I mean, I have priorities. I need a new laptop, I need a new filming camera. I need a shit storm of things and I just can't be doing this on the regs. But will I do it again in the future? Yes, it'll be, it'll be done again in the future, I just don't know when. Does Matt like it? Yes, he does like them. Um, he still says that he likes them more natural, but uh, I don't know if I believe him. Because I just, I mean, I don't see how you could think that these look worse than before. It makes no sense, but he's always gonna say that. He's afraid I'm gonna go overboard and turn into a plastic Barbie doll, but it is what it is. So I was an idiot and I didn't take a before picture because I was just so like freaked out. So I'm gonna screenshot in my video so you can kind of see what it looked like before and after. So I'm gonna put the before and after pictures right here so you can get an idea. I hope I helped you. I hope I answered some of your questions. I hope I helped make it maybe a little less scary or just helped you make your decision in general on if you wanna do either of these. Thanks again for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell for post notifications so you know every time I drop a video. Um, follow me on all my social medias. I'll put my handle right here. Um, and yeah, thanks again for watching and I hope you guys have a beautiful week.